Hey guys, how are you going and welcome to part 2 of the tutorial on creating a single page application uh, with Vanilla JS. Um, if you haven't seen the first part, I highly recommend you watch that one because this one is going to be a straight continue on from that one. Okay, so in this one, um, we're going to be creating um, or implementing the functionality for client side URL parameters. Okay, so um, as we can see right here, upon going to uh, forward slash post, then forward slash number two, um, we're going to have access to essentially right here in the JS, our parameters right here. Okay, so um, let's go inside our original project right here and um, the way it's going to work is through regex. Okay, so we're going to be defining our individual paths and then using regex to of course match them with the URL. Okay, so let's go inside here and let's first have a look at a sample um, routes which we're going to define. So, um, you know, taking the posts example um, into consideration, so viewing an individual post you might want to go to forward slash posts, then forward slash um, colon ID. Okay, so of course, we have this ID um, placeholder for anything after forward slash posts. Okay, so we're going to uh, essentially turn or we're going to be defining this right here inside the root. So for example, forward slash posts, then ID like that. Then we can say view post as the, um, as the view. Okay, now, before we get to this part, let's just comment this out. We need to do a few things um, just to convert this right here into a regular expression. Okay, so let's go up here. We're going to make a new function called um, path to regex. Okay, we're going to take in our path right here. And we can now return a new regular expression. Then pass through here, essentially just matching the first character of the string right there or the start of the string. Then we're going to say plus, then path dot replace. We're going to replace every single forward slash inside the path. So this one right here and this one right here with uh, the regular expression equivalent for the match. So that's going to be essentially just backslash forward slash to cancel out the actual forward slash. Okay, so we can say right here, replace forward slash, backslash, forward slash, forward slash, G. So basically matching on the forward slash right here. And of course, this one is the uh, cancel out character. Okay, so we can say right here using a comma, we can replace each one of those with essentially the exact same thing, backslash, backslash, forward slash. Okay, now we can say right here, dot replace once again we're going to say now just simply replacing uh the colon forward slash we're going to say sorry my mistake forward slash colon then matching against a word character so of course this case it's going to be the actual colon id that's going to have a plus to match one or more of those characters okay then we can say forward slash g so essentially we're going to be replacing each one of our parameters right here with um with essentially just a group, a capture group. So we're going to say right here, dot plus. So it's going to make a lot more sense um, when we're going to see it in use very shortly. But we can now simply add uh, one more plus. This would be for the end of the string uh, right here using a dollar sign. Okay, so um, now let's test this function. We're going to simply uh, console.log inside the router. We're going to log out path to regex then pass through here forward slash posts forward slash colon id okay cool so now let's save this and then refresh the page and we can see here we get this regular expression so of course that right there came from forward slash posts colon id it came from that right there um actually that right there. So now essentially we have this capture group, which we can then capture the information inside the actual uh, path itself. In this case right here, it would be two. Okay, so let's go back inside here and we can simply then, you know what, let's actually, let, 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 let's actually refresh the page once again, grab this regex and test it out. So we can say right here, forward slash posts, then forward slash two. We can say dot match, then pass through here the regular expression and we can see right here, we get the results. We grab the actual, you know, complete result in itself. Then we grab the actual, 
capital group value, the two right there. Okay, so sorry, uh, my voice was a bit a bit weird just then, but um, so now we need to simply just uh, grab this two, and then of course um, pass it into each one of our classes if it's relevant. Okay, so let's modify um, the router code. Okay, we can just uh, get rid of this right here, and we're going to um, replace all of this stuff down here. So we're going to be replacing this is match with simply just results. Okay, we're going to say results. So this is basically going to be the results of the potential match. Okay, this result is going to be location dot path name dot match. Okay, we're going to match the path to regex, then pass through here roots dot path. So basically, doing the exact same thing as we did right here, okay, but for each one of our separate roots, okay. So now we have this right here. This condition is going to change to be dot result does not equal null. So basically, we have a match if the match result didn't return null. So this function right here, let's just change this to be. Um, Let's make it something like post one. Okay, so now we can see it returns null in the case of a non match. So that's all that is checking for. Okay, so now we need to um, go down here and when creating the view itself, we need to pass through the constructor here the actual parameters themselves. So if I go back inside here, we can see I was just experimenting with a few things before recording, but we can see right here we get the params object id and two. So basically, we need to pass this object right here into the constructor for the actual view itself. So we can pass through here get params, okay? Then pass through the match in its entirety, this one right here. Now, let's define this get params method, okay? Let's go up here. We can call this one, of course, const get params. This will take in our match object. Okay. Now this one is going to simply grab, or it's going to, it's going to determine both the keys and the values for each one of our, um, each one of our parameters right here. Okay. So we can say const values. This will be your, you know, things like. Um, your two right here. Okay, so we can say const values equal to match dot result dot slice then pass through one. Okay, so this right here, this match dot result. Remember, that's going to be equal to um, the match result right here. Okay, so going slice at index one is going to basically just return every single value from index one and then onwards. So of course. If you had two things, so for example, let's just make that happen for demonstration. So if I had forward slash uh, two, then forward slash four, then change this to be to match these two. So of course, this right here would instead be colon ID, then colon something else. In this case, we get one and two. So the values in this case would be one and two, two and four. Of course, right here, two and four as this array. Okay, cool. Now let's say const keys. Okay, is equal to, and this one is going to be a bit more complex. Um, we're going to say array dot from. Okay, then we're going to take advantage of the match all method. Okay, we're going to say match dot roots dot path dot match all. Okay, so we need to basically grab the keys. So the keys refers to the ID. Okay, so we need to grab the keys and then we're going to simply match them along uh, down here. But for the keys themselves to grab them, we're going to use the match all method. We're going to pass through here forward slash uh, forward slash colon. Okay, then we're going to say backslash W as a capture group. Okay, so basically a very similar thing to right up here, but this one is going to then say forward slash G. So now this match all is going to match every single uh, individual parameter right here. So of course, if you had colon, uh, you know, something else, 
for example, this something else would be part of this keys array as well. But right here, we're going to grab each individual parameter in a capture group. Then we're going to basically say uh, right here, um, dot map. Okay, and then grab the results. And then we can return results at index one. Okay, so like I said, it's a bit confusing what's actually going on, but um, this array.from is going to take our result from match all, which is actually an iterator. Okay, it's going to take the result right here, then it's going to then grab it, uh, grab it into an array. Then the array right here, this array, is going to have essentially a new entry and it's going to look like this right here. So let's actually, let's actually log, let's not show my emails. Um, let's actually log out what the result of match all is just for a bit more clarity. Okay, because I think I'm, I think I'm talking too much and I'm, and, and I'm not actually showing. So let's just say right here, console.log, then pass through here, array.from, and see the result. Okay, we can simply just return nothing or an empty object. Okay, just for now. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we have this right here. So we can simply go down here. We are calling the get params uh, function. Okay, so we can go up here and we can replace this posts for uh, colon ID with a view. Let's just make the view post so it actually works. Okay, we're going to change this very shortly. But now we can just uh, we can just save this and refresh. So we should see this right here. If we go into, you know what? No, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to save this and refresh. Um, and we can see right here we get an empty array because for the first one, we didn't match anything. If I was to go to forward slash posts, then uh, let's do two. We can see right here, we get our results of match all. So this one right here. So match all, array from match all. We can see we basically took uh, took the actual root itself with colon ID, and we've, and we've converted it to this right here, the result. Now, if I had multiple, for example, if I had forward slash, uh, let's do decode, for example, save this and refresh, pass through here now for, for decode, we can see now we get two results, of course, ID and then decode. Okay, so we need to then, up, up here we can see, we're simply grabbing the first result from the actual result right here. Of course, this one is going to be the actual plain text without the colon. Okay. Cool. Um, apologies if that was a bit confusing, um, but that's how it works. Okay, so we need to now do one last step to basically just convert or combine the values and the keys. Okay, so we can say right here, um, return object dot from entries, then pass through here, keys dot map. We're going to grab the key and the index of the key. Then we can say return then pass through here key and then values. Okay, so essentially right here what we're doing is we're looping through each one of our keys themselves. Okay, so of course refers to the ID and the um, and the decode from down here, for example. It's going to then loop through them and return the key in an array and then the values at index of the key. So basically it's going to follow the same order. We're going to map, of course, um, the uh, the ID to be two and decode to be four. In this case, right here. Now array, sorry, object dot from entries is going to take our multi-dimensional array and it's going to convert it into an object. Okay. I've also got a video on from entries if you want to check that one out. But it's relatively straightforward how that works. Okay. So now let's just um let's just go inside. Let's go inside the constructor of the actual view itself. Okay, so in each one of our views, we need to take in the parameters themselves. So we can say params right there, then pass it to the constructor. Let's do the exact same thing for settings and, uh, and lastly for dashboard as well. Okay, and inside the abstract view, we're going to once again take in the params and then we can simply just say um, this dot params is equal to the params right there. 
then we can just do console.log and then we can say this.params. So now, upon saving this right here, we can refresh and we get right here all of the parameters. Okay, so once again, I apologize if this part right here um, with the actual, um, you know, getting of the params is it um, is a little bit confusing um, I find it always quite difficult to explain regex in video tutorials and obscure things like this so apologies um, if you don't understand it I suggest you just simply console.log your values and your keys and um, it should all make sense okay so that right there is essentially just grabbing our individual parameters okay now we have one last problem with this well it's a it's a slight problem and that is of course right here um, well first off this decode shouldn't be here because of course we just want the ID for the post okay now um, the problem is this right here goes to posts now you might actually be thinking it's probably not a problem because maybe you want the post view to also handle situations where the param has been provided but in our case, we're going to make our own separate class for this. So we can say right here, view is going to be post view. So post view, okay. We can then import the post view class. So post view, just like this. Then we can make the view post view.js. Going to copy and paste, of course, the posts right here. And now we have, um, if I just do doing posts, okay. So now we have right here access to the post ID. I can say console.log this.params.id. Okay, let's save this and then go to post at index two. We can see right here we get the two right there. This log came from our abstract view. So let's go inside here and just remove this one. Okay, try again, refresh. And of course we get two right here. So this is where it gets interesting, right? So you have these params right here. You can now make calls to the server side to get your data for post number two and do basically whatever you want with this information. You know what? Actually, I forgot, I forgot one last thing. My apologies, I forgot one last thing. Let's go back inside here and make a change. It is going to be right here is match needs to be results and now this needs to just simply be right here location dot path name so essentially by providing this where we're mocking the results of the regex so if I got here and I match this right here okay we can see this index zero is going to refer to the actual contents of the URL itself so we're simply just saying results index zero location dot path name and that is all to creating a single page application with client-side uh, URL parameters. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.